So, my name is Logan Watkins, and this is my YouTube channel. So, yeah. Today we're going to be talking about females. Now, females are fucking douchebags. Okay, let's get it. <laughs> Number one, the, the main part I hate about females is that, like, they act like they like they want you. Like, they want to be something with you, right? But then they tell their best friends that you're just their friend. But yet, they're in your bed. And they, uh, girls, like, it makes no sense. Like, could someone just... I, fuck. Time I'm gonna go and say a story time is I had a girlfriend for about like two weeks at one point. Surprising, I know, two weeks. Good. Um, and then like I thought we were a thing, we were hitting it off and everything. And then her friends text me, they're like, Do y'all think y'all are dating? I was like, Yeah, well, I asked her out, she said, Yeah. And then they sent me a, a video of her and another dude. Like, like how, how am I supposed to take that? Like, this shit hurt, man. This shit hurt. So then I turned gay. No, I'm just fucking with you. I'm cutting that shit out. But like seriously, getting to like real, realness and you know all the jokes aside, no. But this video is basically gonna be about you know trying to understand my story and where I come from. Um, I am 16 years old. I turned 17 June 1st. Um, my favorite color is red. Um, I'm into you know all sorts of things. I'm into you know mostly sports. You know it's uh, it's what I like the most. Um, I'm a, I can be a pretty funny guy, pretty laid back, chill guy. Um, I currently live by myself. Um, just depending on, I'll get to another story time later about how I'm living with myself and I'm not with my parents. Um, I have I'm working two jobs right now. So that's basically a background story of me. And so let's just get right into the video. So I met this girl at church camp. Her name was Angelina Gordon. And, you know, I knew her since we were kids. I knew her for about 10 years. And, um,. I started bo getting a bonding with her at church camp, starting to get really close to her at church camp and everything, and everything was going fine and normal, and then, you know, first couple weeks go by, we start texting, and then we start dating. Um, you know, every, we were dating, going on dates, everything's fine, you know, lovey dovey type stuff, you know, love you and all that already in the two weeks, but, you know, that all starts, but everything was going good, and then we had sex. Yep, we had sex. On a trampoline, should I say. So, let's get into this. Um, it was a dark and... No, I'm just fucking with you, you know. But uh, um, we did. We had sex on the trampoline, and then our relationship kind of went downhill from there. Um, at that point, we were already together for three months. So, after we had sex, um, you know, it started going downhill, our relationship. We would argue every day. She would get physically abusive. She would get verbally abusive. Um, I mean, I have marks on my body from her throwing knives at me, um, trying to tase me hitting me with hangers and me i'm i'm, I'm six three uh, you know 175 pounds so you know she's just a five five 120 pound girl you know it's not gonna hurt me but i'm just saying that's what i had kind of had to go through um when we broke up it was kind of hard for me i kind of couldn't accept the fact that me and her were actually done with um so while she was with her boyfriend at the time i bought her 400 dollars worth of gifts thinking she would take me back and it just didn't work out that way um i actually ended up having to stay at the motel with her and her boyfriend cuddling in the same room as me for about a week because i didn't have a ride back home so that's how that went um so that, that that hurt me pretty much a lot um but then we got over that and then i came back home and then she started you know missing me again and then her boyfriend started realizing in it so then her boyfriend, you know, of course, tried to fight me, and I, of course, fought him. Um, the video is going to be right here, actually. I'm going to go ahead and play it. So I actually could not find the video, so I'll have to get later on another video or just, you know, add my TikTok and my social media. I'll have that added, you know, down, it should be like down here. Um, but anyways, me, I got set up when I fought him, actually. Um, my friends, well, I thought were my friends, told me that they wanted some water burger, so I brought them some water burger. And then when I brought it to them, come around the corner, my ex, her sister, and Kenneth, which was her boyfriend at the time, he starts, you know, taking his shirt off, all pumped up, hyped up, like, okay, well, let's fight. I'm gonna beat the fuck out you. Like, we're gonna fight. Let's go. And I'm just like, hey, chill out, bro. You know, I'm not trying to fight. I'm just trying to eat some water burger at 4 a.m. in the morning. You know what I'm saying? And now he just he swung at me as soon as he hit me. I, we started fighting it out. 
I had him on the ground. I started beating his head in the ground. And then what do I know? The person who so-called loved me in my life came behind me and started hitting me in the back of the head with her sister kicking me in the back of the head as I'm fighting this dude. First thing in my mind is I'm not going to let go of this dude. So they can hit me as much as times as they want. I'm going to keep hitting on him. So you know, that continues. That's finally over. They run off in their car. I chase after him like a dummy trying to, you know, to hit the window. And um, that's how that night went. Left, went home, things, everything was fine. Um, that was with that dude. And then me and her, him and her actually had broken up after he lost that fight. Me and her got back together. A couple months go by, he's out the picture. Me and her are dating, we're good, you know, everything's fine. And then he comes back into our life. And then start, they start talking it again. And I'm okay with it because, you know, I'm trusting her, you know, trying to get my trust. You know, she's like the first person I ever trusted because she was like my first real relationship. So I trust them. Like, you know what? Okay, let it happen. Let, you know, do what you got to do. You know, you can have friends. I don't get tripping. So that happened. Um, then she ended up cheating on me with him because we got into an argument. Uh, meanwhile, she cheated on me when I had working my two jobs, saving up a car and saving up stuff to go see her. And I actually got the car. And I didn't find out she cheated on me until after she rode in my car and wrecked my car. So that's how that went. Um, so then we broke up after that. Then we've been broken up since then. Um, it's been about a month since we've been broken up. Uh, so that's how that story with me and her kind of went down. And she's not with that dude no more. She's with a whole other dude. And she still tries to get me jealous, which I think is funny. But but that's basically everything um, from a short story. That's basically everything about me. Um, so I appreciate y'all watching. Um, if you can, please, you know, follow my Snap and follow my TikTok. And I appreciate it, man. Peace.